Hi everyone, Contractual Obligations here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new snail mail album, Lush. This is the debut full-length album from singer-songwriter Lindsay Jordan and her band, a new artist that the greater part of the indie scene has flocked to as an exciting up-and-comer, and I was somewhat enamored myself going into this project with the fuzzy guitar leads and super tight drumming and dejected but sweet lead vocals featured on the lead single Heatwave. But going deeper into this album, I was having a harder time finding what exactly all the excitement over this album was about. Sure, Jordan does seem like a pretty capable songwriter. Her vocal melodies are relatively sticky, her voice is pretty youthful and earnest, her singing and her lyrics pretty much are the selling point of the album. And even though I'm not blown away by them right now, she's still starting out pretty young, so there's plenty of room for her to grow and progress and evolve. And I'm definitely hearing a lot of potential in what's being presented right now. Jordan doesn't have one of the more original vocal deliveries out there, but her singing is genuinely despondent. And her voice is more dynamic than it might seem at first, too. On some of the verses to these cuts, her singing might come off kind of understated and meek, but on many of the hooks of this record it's like her voice opens up and gains a slightly deeper, more womanly tone that kind of hits like a warning siren. She smartly saves some of the best singing bits on these songs toward the very end, like on the track Pristine, but outside of that there aren't many distinct or exciting things about Lush. The album generally sounds like very plain, mid pace 90s indie and alternative rock, but with a kind of softened and reverby veneer that fits into the dreamy aesthetic that a lot of underground rock follows these days. Thank you Mac DeMarco, Beach Fossils Real Estate, and more. Tracks like Speaking Terms and Pristine and even cuts I genuinely find likable such as Heat Wave. The guitar work, the drumming, the chord progressions, they're all pretty plain and sort of nondescript. The production and the recording are pretty good, the performances seem organic enough. A few of the tunes here and there seem a little awkwardly paced, leaving me feeling like I'm just waiting forever for some kind of payoff for all of these persistently moody passages, topped with many, many layers of malaise. Like the song Full Control, the two minutes before the big payoff on that song just feels like an eternity to me. The best moments on the LP to me are some of the most stripped back, intimate, and slow, like the track Stick, or the acoustic and finger pick Let's Find It Out, where Jordan's ability for balladry really shines. The finishing cut Anytime too, which also brings a decent feel of finality to the album. The lyrics on the record are are generally pretty heartbroken and lovesick. I get the sense that Jordan's poetry is coming from her own experience or a very real place, but much of the time her word choice is just alright, and the scenarios that she describes in her lyrics are less than spectacular. So while I think there's a good baseline of fundamentals and talent on this album, it's certainly a listenable record. It's pleasant while it's on. Snail Mail, unfortunately, doesn't do much to build on top of this all right foundation, outside of delivering some above average vocals and some summer crush lyrics. I'm feeling a strong five to a light six on this thing. Tran. Zition, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like, please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is a video that you can check out. You can hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Snail Mail, forever.